it's definitely crunch time now. Uh, one of us is going to be leaving today. I really want to stay here at MasterChef. You know, you're gaining years of experience in a very, very short time here, and I want to stay and experience that. Colin, what's the dish? A chilli chocolate ganache, a lime granita, lime twill with a coriander syrup. OK. It's odd combo, you know. Chocolate ganache, something icy. Uh, I thought the lime granita would help with the uh, heat from the chilli that's in the chocolate. I thought the um, you would eat the chocolate first and then finish it off with the refreshing lime. I hope it's good enough, Colin. So do I. I hope it's good enough to keep you in. OK, thanks, We'll let guys. you know very soon. Individually, you know, if Colin gave me the ganache and said, Gary, taste my ganache, I go, yeah, delicious. Gary, taste my granita, yeah, delicious. Look at that twill, yep, yeah, nice and crisp. But you put them all together, it doesn't really make sense to me. Ganache is too heavy, it should be a mousse. It's not really a, it's not a dessert. Although this dish lacks cohesion, what it has got is some really good technique. Yeah. And I think we have to acknowledge that. We have to acknowledge that the, the, the Colin, when he came into the competition, would not have put up things no. as finely wrought as that. Yeah. You know, the, the balance of acidity and sweetness in that granita is fantastic. It's really bright, it's super limey. The ganache is beautifully glossy, very intense, and the tool is, you know, what we want. It's, it's, it's sort of, it's paper thin, it's fantastic. So on that basis, you know, kudos to Colin. Yeah, absolutely. Right, let's get Renee's dish in. Great. If I haven't timed this fondant right and it's too runny or too overcooked, then the whole dish will be ruined. Who would have thought that my place in the competition depends on the centre of this fondant? How have you brought the flavours of Mexico to this chocolate fondant? It's such a MasterChef classic. How have you twisted it up for us today? So I've done a choc chilli fondant, but in that I've got not only the fresh chilies, but I've got some um, dried chilies just powdered through it as well, just to give that smoky flavour. Um, and I've done a coriander and a bit of a salted praline as well, just to kind of bring that salty, the spicy and the sweet, and then a little bit of the herbiness from the coriander together with a creme fraiche parfait, just to kind of give that richness and that cooling effect as well, because you've got the chilli in there. Great, Renee. Well, thank you. Fingers crossed. That fondant is oozy. Yeah. Those flavours stand proud. Yep. But also a beautifully complimentary. Thanks. Thanks, Renee. What do you think of the look? Looks nice. Yeah. Nice dessert. Little chilli caramel on top, little candied chilli on top. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. You know, in, in terms of, of what she promised and what she delivered, you know? Yeah. One has led to two. We've just got to hope it leads to three, which is when we cut that open, it's gooey. Oh, that looks good. Mm. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. Mm, great, perfect. Perfect texture, at least. Yeah, absolutely. But what I like about it, it's a proper dessert. You know, it makes sense. Chocolate, gooey in the middle. You get that kick of chilli, something cool to go with it. They're all the positives. What I don't like is that mixture's really flowery. It's raw flour. 
What I really like, I like, I like that there's that nice subtle burn of chili at the side of your tongue after you've mm. after you've had that that rich chocolate hit. Um, I like the freshness that that, that candied chili brings. It's still got some fleshiness yeah. to it. And of course, using using creme fraiche gives you that sort of sour cream hit, which I think is a one of those real kind of Mexican flavors. So, so you certainly nailed, nailed the brief. The yeah. question is whether the flouriness of the the cake mixy filling is. Um, is detrimental. Yeah. Yeah, yeah ex exactly. And that's, that's what yeah. I'm thinking. I keep reverting back to, yeah, but it was flowery mixture. Yeah, but I like the cream fresh ice cream. Yeah. Uh, the parfait hit was re it's really yummy. It's got the right amount of vanilla in there and it works well against that uh, chocolate yeah. fondant. But yeah. the chocolate fondant mm. was flowery. Yeah. Um, well, it's a tough decision. It is a tough decision. I think I know what my favourite dish is. Mm, so do I. Yeah. Shall we go and reveal the result? Yeah. Let's do it. Today, you went head to head in a Mexican elimination. And in the end, two good friends faced off in a dessert challenge. Unfortunately, this week has been all about Tracy's power apron. Tracy, how do you feel? Um, it's been a really big week with lots of responsibilities. I intended to keep Colin and Laura safe for the week. Obviously things haven't panned out as well as planned. I'm quite nervous for Cole right now. It's okay, Tris. <sighs> but I do want to thank everybody for being so supportive this week of an understanding of all of my decisions. I think everybody has been remarkable. And I have really enjoyed this week, but at the same time I haven't taken my decisions lightly. Somebody, at the end of the day, somebody will be going home. Rene, you bought us a classically oozy fondant had all the flavours of Mexico. But that fondant was flowery. Colin, you bought us four classic pastry techniques. Well executed. But we had to ask ourselves, did they work together as a cohesive dish? Colin, the answer we came to was no. And that's why you're going home, and that's why, Rene, you're safe. Well done. Congratulations. I'm absolutely gutted. I'm really going to miss him. The house is going to miss him. There's going to be an empty spot there. Colin, what are you going to remember most fondly about this experience? I think, without a doubt, my fondest memories will be of all the great people I've met. Um, it's been great fun cooking here, but um, even more fun meeting all these guys. It's, um, it's been a real pleasure. And he put up some, some great food. I mean, I think of that, that lamb with the, the cocoa noodles that was, you know, we thought was madness and turned out to be inspired deliciousness. And the stuffed chicken wings you did, delicious. Renee, you've become a, a good friend of Colin's. Mm -hmm. What are you going to miss most about him not being in the house? Just his normality. <laughs> um, He's somebody that I don't have to speak to. I can sit next to in a room and not feel lonely, but not have to be on, and I will miss that. That's great. That's <laughs> a good job. You should be proud. You know, our job is to inspire you, so hopefully we've done that. Yep. And we wish you the best of luck. I just want to thank all of you. Um, you know, it's been... A very interesting experience, without a doubt, something I'll never forget, and how quickly you form great bonds with great people. Thanks, guys. Oh, 
Yes, it might. I started out with the same dream that I've got now. I just want a small restaurant on the winery. Without MasterChef, there's no way I was ever going to open the restaurant. Uh, now that I've been here for you know quite a while and I've learned so much, there's a real possibility that it'll happen.